Have you ever carried a grudge? Imagine holding a heavy stone, its weight pulling you down. That's what holding on to anger and resentment can feel like. It weighs us down, steals our joy, and keeps us stuck in the past. The Bible tells us, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Ephesians 4-31 KJV These words remind us that harboring negative emotions is detrimental to our well-being. It's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Forgiveness is the antidote to the poison of grudges. It's the key that unlocks the chains of resentment and sets us free. Forgiveness is not about condoning or excusing the wrong that was done. It's about making a conscious choice to release the offender from our judgment. Forgiveness is a gift we give ourselves, a decision to break free from bitterness and embrace healing. In the words of Corey Ten Boom, forgiveness is an act of the will, and the will can function regardless of the temperature of the heart. Forgiveness, at its core, is a heart transformation orchestrated by God. When we surrender our hurt and anger to Him, He replaces them with His love and compassion. The Bible says in Colossians 3.13, Forbearing one another and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Christ's forgiveness of our sins stands as the ultimate example. When we grasp the enormity of Christ's forgiveness for us, it changes our perspective on forgiving others. Imagine holding a death note against someone who has wronged you. Every time you see that person, you're reminded of the debt they owe. Forgiveness is like tearing up that death note. We release the offender from their obligation to us. In Matthew 6, 1, 14, 15, Jesus teaches us, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. This verse highlights the reciprocal nature of forgiveness. When we choose to forgive, we open the door for God's grace and mercy to flow freely in our lives. In Matthew 18:21-35. Jesus tells the parable of the unmerciful servant. A king forgave his servant an enormous debt, yet this same servant refused to forgive a fellow servant a much smaller debt. This parable illustrates the danger of harboring unforgiveness. We, who have been forgiven an immeasurable debt by God, have no right to withhold forgiveness from others. When we choose to forgive, we align our hearts with God's heart, a heart overflowing with compassion and mercy. Holding on to grudges exacts a heavy toll on our hearts and minds. It's like carrying a bag of rocks wherever we go. Unforgiveness keeps us trapped in a cycle of bitterness and resentment preventing us from experiencing true peace and freedom. Hebrews 12 to 15 states, Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Bitterness, like a weed, can quickly take root in our hearts if we allow it. Forgiving others is not just a noble, act. It's an act of self-preservation. When we forgive, we choose to stop drinking the poison of resentment and hoping the other person will die.
Forgiveness is not a sign of weakness, but a declaration of strength. It takes courage to confront our pain, release our anger, and choose to love again. In Colossians 3-13, the Apostle Paul urges us for bearing one another and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any. Even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. When we forgive, we align our hearts with the heart of God. Forgiveness doesn't erase the past, but it does redeem it. This freedom allows us to experience true joy, peace and healing. Forgiveness is often portrayed as a passive act, a simple letting go. But true forgiveness is an act of courage, a deliberate choice to confront our pain and release our right to hold the offense against the offender. In Matthew 5.44, Jesus teaches us, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Choosing to forgive, especially when it feels undeserved, is an act of defiance against the darkness that seeks to keep us bound in bitterness. It's a declaration that we will not be ruled by our emotions, but by the transformative power of God's love. The journey of forgiveness is not always easy, but each time we choose to forgive, we chip away at the wall of bitterness. Forgiveness. It's a word that echoes with both challenge and promise. We know we should forgive, that it's the right thing to do. Yet, the path to forgiveness is rarely smooth. It can feel like navigating a thorny thicket, with each step forward met by resistance from within. Perhaps one of the most formidable obstacles to forgiveness arises when trust has been shattered. Betrayal by someone we love and rely on can leave us feeling vulnerable, exposed, and deeply wounded. In such moments, it's essential to remember that forgiveness and trust, while intertwined, are not the same things. Forgiveness is a gift we give, first and foremost to ourselves. Trust, on the other hand, is earned over time often through consistent actions and demonstrable change. Forgiving someone doesn't mean we have to instantly restore them to their former place of intimacy and confidence. Sometimes our resistance to forgiveness stems from a desire to maintain a sense of control. By holding on to our anger and resentment, we believe we retain a measure of power over the situation. But the truth is, true justice belongs to God alone. Romans 12 to 19 reminds us, God, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Forgiveness means surrendering our need for retribution and trusting that God will handle it all in His perfect timing. Letting go of grudges and embracing forgiveness is a journey that requires intentional steps. The first step is acknowledging the hurt. Denial only deepens the wound, while facing the pain head-on allows us to begin the healing process. Seek God's strength in prayer. Forgiveness is a divine act that often exceeds our human capacity. In Matthew 6.14, Jesus assures us, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Pray for the willingness to forgive and ask God to soften your heart. Finally, make a conscious decision. To forgive. Forgiveness is an act of the will, 
a deliberate choice to release the offender from your judgment. It is not based on feelings, but on a commitment to move forward in freedom and grace. And forgiveness is not a one-time event, but a continual process. Pain may resurface, and old resentment might creep back. Remind yourself of your decision to forgive. Reaffirm your commitment to let go and trust God. Immerse yourself in God's Word. Scriptures like Colossians 3.13 remind us of forgiveness. Meditate on these verses to transform your heart. Surround yourself with a supportive community. Share your struggles and victories with friends. Knowing others walk with you makes the journey less daunting. Extend grace to yourself. Forgiveness is challenging and takes time. Each step forward is progress. Trust that God is working in you. Philippians 1.6 assures us of God's ongoing work in us. Imagine a farmer scattering seeds in a field. He doesn't see the harvest immediately. He patiently tends the land, knowing that in time the seeds will sprout and grow. Forgiveness is like that. It's a seed we sow, trusting that God will bring forth a harvest of peace, joy, and healing in our lives. When we choose to forgive, we unlock a treasure chest of blessings. We experience freedom from the bitterness that weighs us down. The anger that once consumed us loses its grip, replaced by a sense of peace that surpasses understanding. This peace is not the absence of conflict, but the presence of God's grace in the midst of our circumstances. Not only does forgiveness free us from the past, but it also opens up a world of possibilities for the future. By releasing the offense and the offender, we create space in our hearts for love, joy, and compassion to flourish. We become more like Christ, who, in the face of unimaginable betrayal, chose to forgive. This transformation doesn't happen overnight. It's a process, a journey of faith. But as we continue to choose forgiveness, we will begin to experience its life-changing power. We will find ourselves able to love more deeply, forgive more readily, and extend grace more generously. The harvest of forgiveness is abundant and available to all who are willing to sow the seeds. The impact of forgiveness extends far beyond our own lives. When we choose to forgive, we break the cycle of hurt and resentment. We become instruments of God's grace, extending His love and mercy. Our forgiveness can inspire others, creating a ripple effect. Imagine a world where forgiveness is the norm and reconciliation is embraced. It would be a world free from bitterness and division, a world where love reigns supreme and peace prevails. Forgiveness. It's not a magic potion that erases the past, nor is it a free pass for those who have wronged us. It's a deeply personal journey, often fraught with challenges, yet paved with the promise of extraordinary freedom. It's in the letting go that we truly discover the heart of God. Remember the heavy stone, the weight of the grudge? Today, you have a choice. You can continue to carry its burden, allowing bitterness to take root and poison your spirit. Or you can choose to lay it down at the foot of the cross, trusting in the one who bore the weight of the world's sins, including those committed against you. This journey of forgiveness might require revisiting those painful memories, acknowledging the depth of your hurt. But as you surrender those wounds to God, asking for His strength and guidance, you'll discover a wellspring of grace within you, a capacity to love as He loves. 
It's in those moments of releasing the offense, of extending grace even when it feels undeserved, that you truly experience the transformative power of forgiveness. You'll find that it's not just the other person who is set free, it's you. And in that newfound freedom, you'll discover a heart more aligned with God's, a heart overflowing with compassion, peace, and love.